the fulfillment of destiny is subject to the men who are around you. You can have a right destiny but have the wrong people around you. Why does apostle keep pushing us to give? The Bible says give. Say give. All right. He says give and what shall happen? Talk to me. What shall happen? It shall be given unto you. And then he tells you how it shall be given. Good measure. Press down. Talk to me. Shaken together. And what? And running over. Shall. So in response to giving, God introduces men. It is men that bring the money. It is men that bring the resources. God rewards you by introducing people into your life. Whatever you are lacking in your life is not a thing that you are lacking. You are lacking the man who has the thing. So in response to prayer, to giving, to fasting, to the word, to all the things that I teach you, in response to those things, God sends a man. He said in the book of uh, Exodus, he said, I have heard the cry of my people. Now, when God heard the cry, he didn't come down himself. He sent Moses. So, if you reject Moses, you've rejected the God who sent the answer. So, to stop you from getting to your promised land, the devil makes you fight men. You say, I'm a child of God, but you fight the men that God sent. If you fight the messenger, you have fought the one who sent the messenger. If you are struggling, it means you are struggling to find the men who can deal with the struggle. Because a mountain to you is a pebble in someone's pocket. We make a huge mistake in the body of Christ. We are comfortable with people who are like us. So people who are like you can only do what you can do. That's why the same things are happening to you. Because you have the same people around you. What keeps people like that is insecurity. What keeps people like that is, you see, people have a problem being around people cleverer than them. If you are the cleverest person in the room, you are in the wrong room. If you are, are the wisest person in your circle, you are in the wrong circle. And many of us, we are easily manipulated by people from our past. People from your past want you to remain like your past. And then when you start to change, they say, well, without men, Joseph would have been in prison to date. Many times we are not lifted because we trivialize the greatness of great men. We want to water down people's achievements. If you trivialize great men, they close doors. Because great men have paid a price that you have not paid. And you might need what they have, which they paid the price for. When you submit to a greater man than you, you now have access to what he qualifies for. Not everything that you, you need or have, you qualify for. So you might need to leverage on the price paid by another man over decades to accomplish certain things and to acquire certain contacts. And then all you need is just his signature. And when you go, people who are holding that signature, that document, people who respect that document more than you because of who signed it. Amos, 3, Amos chapter 3 verse 3, how can two walk together except they agree? Have you found someone who agrees with your vision? Many times we can't walk together with great people because we feel that they should reduce themselves to our level rather than we come up to their level. There are places where you have no voice. There are places where you are not known. There are places where you are not welcome. There are places where you don't qualify. So you need to leverage on relationships of people who qualified long before you were born. Could it be that in your life, your life is full of, listen, your life has limited space. Could it be that it's filled with people from the past and has no room or time for people from the future? So you have history relationships rather than destiny relationships. You need unbelievers. Joseph's destiny was locked up in an unbeliever called Pharaoh. The real wealth you want is not in the hands of an usher. So if all your friends are just ushers, you will usher yourselves around the mountain. One of the most foolish things we have told ourselves is men are the same. 2 Samuel chapter 18 verse 3. David's men said, Master, you are worth 10,000 of us. There are people who are worth 10,000. I have church members here that are worth 10,000 members. God didn't send an army to Egypt to take his children. He sent one man. What is your attitude to, towards the men that God sends? How do you treat clients? You return their calls when you want. The Bible says David behaved himself wisely in everything he did. Many relationships have been killed by foolishness. They've been killed by preconceived ideas. This is how we are, where we come from. 
You pray more for resources than you do for relationships. And yet, resources come through relationships. There are men who have the ability to give you a house, a house, and they won't fill it. But you want to treat that person like your friends. Do you know great people are very rough? Your ability to deal with the roughness, for lack of a better word, of great people is what authorizes you to receive what they have. Naaman almost missed it. Because he said, listen, the man of God came to heal him. He says, I thought he would have waved his hand. Great men would teach you things you don't know. Be humble enough to say thank you. I did not know that there is a Jordan River here. How do you behave in the palace? Joseph, when he got to Pharaoh, did not talk about Potiphar's wife. He didn't talk about why he was in prison. Great people have got no time for your stories. Great people are busy. They don't have to respond to your message. A blue tick is enough. And even if it is not blue tick today, he might blue tick it after seven days. That's what great people do. They don't have the time you have. Great people don't talk to you the way you want them to talk to you. They talk to you anyhow. Humble yourself. Listen, people with a real anointing are difficult. And only people with the patience, the honor to hear what they have to say. If you want the honey, get ready for the bees. You will be stung once or twice, but your focus is on the honey. If you are not able to relate with great men, forget about greatness. Killing Goliath is not what makes you king. It's what introduces you to the palace. But remember, you are in Saul's palace. It is how you deal with Saul, a difficult man, that allows you to be king. David behaved wisely in the palace. Honor people who are higher than where you are. Honor people who are lower than where you are. A little maid. Help Naaman. You can be connected by small people to big people. If you are too proud to listen to small people, they might have the key to big people. If you are not teachable, you are not reachable. If you get angry every time you are rebuked, come for deliverance. Because that is a destiny threatening demon. You can never fulfill destiny without rebuke. Someone must sit you down. You need men. He who stands alone will not stand for very long. There are certain things that will not happen, even in business, until you go to great people in your field just to acknowledge their relevance, to say thank you for what you have taught me. Thank you. Some of the things I've learned by observation. How prepared are you for big doors? Are you prepared to meet greatness? Because listen to me, part of meeting great people is understanding the protocol. Because the rules to go to prison are not the rules to go to the palace. When you're going to the palace, there are rules. Joseph had to shave. He had to change his clothes. He had to change his garments to be acceptable before the king. Esther had to soak herself in oil. Wash herself. Because she was a rural girl. She smelt of smoke. One year preparation to meet a king. The reason why you meet kings, they throw you out. You meet kings, they throw you out. because you are still smelling rural area. So you need to go in the realm of the spirit and say, Lord, wash me of the stench of my past. So that when I meet the king, hallelujah, my smell is acceptable. Hallelujah. When I get before the king, I don't want the ambience of rural areas. I want my smell, my sight, my dressing, my look, my countenance to please the king. Never forget, you serve at the pleasure of the king. You might not agree, but just serve. Pray that men who need the gifting that you have, you meet them. Otherwise, your gifting goes to waste, though you are gifted. You need to meet men who need your gifting. Until your gifting is needed, you remain in need. So you must pray that the, the services, the goods that you supply, you collide with the buyers. And you are not truly successful until you start to spend from the treasury of kings. When God wants to raise you, he brings men. When the devil wants to destroy you, he brings men. The people you are relating with, are they from God or Lucifer? God said, I will give men for your life. Isaiah 43 verse 4. I will give men for your life. Hallelujah. In other words, assigned to your life, assigned to your destiny is men. Until those men come, your destiny is not in view. May the men that are needed for your destiny to be fulfilled, may they come into your life. I prophesy, may they come into your life. I decree, may they come into your life. And when kings come, they come with rewards. May you be rewarded by kings. May you be rewarded by kings. 
May your gifting be desired. Psalm 45. May your giftings be desired. Hallelujah. He says, Arise, shine, your light has come. Then further down, he says, Kings shall come to the brightness of your shining. So after this series of sermons here, after this revival, you will begin to shine. And kings will come to you. Those are people you need for your destiny. I command the introduction of some kings. Hallelujah. There are people who with one signature can, can eliminate generational poverty. One signature. One signature. And that person is coming your way. I said that person is coming your way. May you receive them with meekness. May you receive them with wisdom. I destroy the spirit of pride. That would push away destiny helpers. People are signed by God to help you. I, 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 I dismiss that pride that says I don't need anyone. You need men. I said you need men. As a man of God, you need men. Otherwise, you'll be preaching to the trees. You need men. May you be humble enough to know that you need other people. I prophesy it over your life. In the name of Jesus, may God show you the people you need in your life. May he give you access to people you have no access. May he connect you to divine connectors. May you be connected to connectors. May you be connected to... Oh, lazo tamahaya. May you be connected to connectors. May you be connected to the right people. May you be connected to people who will lift you. Men are coming in your day. I see them. I see them. By reason of your kingdom commitment. Men are coming to you. Men are coming with substance. He said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, shake it together and running over. Shall men... Then he left it open. Give to your bosom what? Contracts, resources, open doors, increase, favor, signature. Listen, men are not just bringing money. They are bringing great things in your life. When God was about to restore the life of Job, what did he do? He sent men. Job 42, verse 10 to 12. He sent men. The Bible says, everyone gave him a piece of silver. So part of your restoration package is men. If you continue to have an attitude with men, your life won't change. May you adjust your attitude. May you pray about your unnecessary anger. Pray more about yourself than about the breakthrough. Because prosperity is what happens to you by reason of who you are becoming spiritually. Day by day, David, one man, was helped until he became like a great army. One man can become like a great army. One man can become like a great army. Are you listening to me? May you become great. By reason of relationships, may you become great. When you stand, I'm telling you, they are behind you, there is people in the police force. They are also standing with you. Behind you, there are people in government. They are also standing with you. Behind you, there are people in council. They are also standing with you. As your man of God stands with you, may God also send business people to stand with you. Hallelujah. May he send destiny financers. May he also send people who do the running around. Write the vision down, make it plain that he who reads it, who is not you, will run with it. There are movers and shakers. There are people who push your vision. There are people who are on the ground. There are people who run around. While I'm here preaching, people were collecting the guests from the hotel. Hello? If I was to do everything, I would say, okay, just pray, I'm coming. No matter how muscular you are as a man, you can't make a child by yourself. No matter how beautiful you are as a woman, you can't make a child without a man. You need other men. Humble yourself. They are coming. May they find you humble. Elisha, you did twice the miracles as Elijah, but you are not a father. A father will always be a father. You might have a bigger church, but he's still a father. You might have more revelation, but he's still a father. When fathers speak, things move in the spirit. Hallelujah. The sons were anointed by the father. How can you dishonor an anointing that anointed you and remain anointed? Oh, I see people's lives changing. I prophesy your life must change. I decree your life must change. I declare your life must change. May God give you men with access. 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 Men who can walk into the king's office. These are important men in your life. Men with access. May you show them gratitude. 
May you never have an entitlement attitude where you feel you're entitled to somebody's pocket because you're a relative. That devil is a liar. That person worked hard for that money and they did it without you in mind. Hallelujah. When you receive, may you learn to say thank you. May you learn to appreciate. May God grant you grace to appreciate. I see you recovering all. I said I see you recovering all. Remember God blesses men through men. Walk with the wise and you will be wise. Hallelujah. Thank you.